Today, we're going to be racing some propeller cars. Ready to get started? Hey all, welcome to STEM at Home. My name is Kareem and I'm one of Lenovo's innovation partners. Today, we're gonna to be making and racing propeller cars. Hey kids, science is a lot of fun, but it can also be very dangerous. So please make sure an adult is present when you're building your propeller car. Today, we're going to use the energy in a rubber band to power a race car. By twisting the propeller, the rubber bands load up with potential energy. When you let go of the propeller, the rubber bands unwind, converting the stored potential energy into kinetic energy. This creates the thrust necessary to move the car forward. Efficient use of energy is at the heart of everything we do here at Lenovo. First, we're gonna grab seven of our popsicle sticks and our glue gun to make a rectangular frame. Then you're gonna take a skewer, you're gonna put it through the straw, and then you're gonna attach one wheel on each side. You're gonna wanna make sure that you use a little bit of tape on each of the edges to make sure the wheels don't slide off. Then we're gonna tape the wheels to the rectangular frame that we built earlier. You just wanna make sure that the frame is centered on the straw. Now we need to build the propeller assembly. So we're gonna bring back three popsicle sticks and we're gonna overlay them with the glue gun. I'm gonna grab our propeller. I'm gonna put that on one end, just slide that right on. We need to glue down these two cubes, one in the front and one in the back. You wanna make sure they're as close to aligned as possible grab our final popsicle stick and we're gonna to wanna to cut it about three quarters of the way through. And then we're gonna create a little bit of a platform for our mast and you can put it on the front or on the back. We're going to bend our paper clip and make a little L shape. And then we're gonna glue that onto the mast. And then we're gonna add some tape just to make sure it's nice and sturdy. And now we're gonna glue our mast onto our car. When you've glued the mast on, just make sure the hook just facing right side up. For our final step, we're gonna bring our two rubber bands. I like to do the paper clip end first, and then you're gonna wanna slip it right into the little hook. Then we'll turn our propeller clockwise. You'll probably wanna go somewhere between 15 and 20 rotations. On your mark, get set, go. Thanks for joining me on this episode of STEM at Home. I hope you enjoyed building your propeller car. Bye kids. Can't believe I lost to a fourth grader.